Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'na ayya al-habati fillah The question was posed, what is the person who died upon shirk before the message reached them? Uh, they were brought up as a Christian or a Jew in a Jewish household and they were agnostic or they were agnostic. Will they be in the hellfire together uh, forever? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna ladina kafaru min ahli kitabi wa mushrikina fi nari jahannam. They're verily those who... Uh, believe, uh, who are from Ahli Kitab and the Mushrikeen and those who uh, commit uh, polytheism, the polytheists, they will be in the hellfire forever. So Ahla Sunnah and Ahla Islam, we judge by the law here, we judge by what we see uh, the apparent and, and there's a hukum in the dunya, meaning that for example, someone dies in that state, of course, we, we, we consider them to be disbelievers. If they came a after the message of Muhammad Sallallahu uh, was presented to the world and they died upon Christianity or Judaism, then we say that we, we believe, uh, we deal with them as disbelievers, meaning they will not be buried uh, in the Muslim cemeteries and all the other ahkam related to that. We hold them to be disbelievers. As far as their hukum in the akhirah, this is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah doesn't punish someone without uh, establishing the hujjah, as he said, subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. And this is also an issue that Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah have spoken extensively uh, in the books, some of the books of the Salaf. And just making it very short and brief that we make the hukum in the dunya, but the hukum in the akhirah, this is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test those people because if they never had the chance to hear the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows whether they would have believed or whether they wouldn't believe. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do with them as he sees fit. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-adil, he's the most just. So he will determine and their reckoning is with the law, but we, as far as in the, this life, this worldly life, we, someone who is Jew or Christian or any other faith, that we hold them to be disbelievers in Allah and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in, in Islam until they embrace Islam. And so the rights of a Muslim, they don't have the same rights. They have the rights uh, of uh, that we, you know, human rights, so to speak, if you want to say but they do not have those specific rights that Muslims have with one another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa